finally you found us. Because we barely found you today. Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, the Art Sherpa. I already got it fixed. And the one thing I know how to fix in the whole studio, my monitor. So <laughs> we had a little trouble getting into you today. Today we're going to be talking about artist trading cards and ACEOs, what those are, how you make them, how you can join that fabulous world. I've got my mean business glasses on. And uh, just so you know, I've been doing these like, <laughs> just like John said. Since we've been together. Cause, we've been doing a long time, yeah. Yeah, long time. My little mean business glasses. I love my mean business glasses. I need to, I was thinking I need to spruce them up. They do need some sprucing. So I need to, to fabulousness them. The, yeah, they're definitely. Not, they're like cool, but I feel like for it to be like the full fraggle rock, I need more <laughs> going on there. Yeah. So artist trading cards. They're really cool. It's part of the small art movement. Not as small, small as those teeny tiny lasagnas we all like to watch them cook and eat. Teeny small, tiny. small art movement is that like the like the mini campers, the mini glampers, and the yeah, mini, 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 mini. Everything is so fun when it's mini. But this is great because with artist trading cards, it's also collecting. Ooh, so yeah. when you learn how to do these, you trade these with other artists. There's uh, there's so many swaps. There's just not enough words or explanation for how many swaps there are. Of course, we've got some swappy stuff we're connected to. Information <laughs> in the links. <laughs> in the links. In the links. Or the the community will link them or. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get some coffee. It was a little journey getting her. It was. So we're live. Well, but right we now. We are now. <laughs> but if you're on the replay, thank you for putting up with our nonsense and our and our funny glasses. I'm gonna show you some stuff today, and I'm even gonna this black hole. <laughs> so what are we? It's actually an artist trading card that I'm gonna paint, and I'm gonna show you all about it. What what is a and and you're gonna go into what is an ATC? Yes. So artist trading cards. If you look over here, okay. I've got some examples. Hold on. Let me find my button. You just look at the top there, of my head. There, there we go. Okay. I have some examples of ones that I have done and ones I have collected. Oh. These are small little pieces done on two and a half by three and a half. Gosh, it can be any medium. It can be canvas. It can be paper. It can be anything. You could use old playing cards. You Well, you can use old poker playing cards. Oh, yeah. I have links to the sleeves. I have links to the Strathmore pre-cut canvas. But if you're requesting with us, right, you could just cut up your canvas yourself for two and a half by three and a half. So here's like another one. These are ones I did before my children were even born. I used to do these when they're artist uh, collector editions and originals. That's ACEO. Basically, the difference between an artist trading card and an ACEO is uh, these were for sale. Because <laughs> I used to, you wouldn't believe this, but I used to be really mercenary. <laughs> <laughs> selling my art. This is one of my favorite ones I ever did, which yeah. is why she wasn't sold. I really like her. Yeah. We were so, talking about you may you may revisit some of these. I may revisit some of these. Here's what's crazy. When I say that I have always used the tracing process. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Oh yeah. See there's Look at these. This traceables. Before I even knew I had to share them, this was a line he sold like in about two seconds. Here's the traceable for this mm -hmm. little chica. Another one I had done. See, so the processes that we learn in our big acrylic paintings apply to these teeny tiny little acrylic paintings. But look at this. This, right, and it has a certificate of authenticity because I also collected. Oh, because you were a collector. I would collect them too. You liked the, the right? collecting. Effort. This cool piece was um, a print, digi a digital print mm -hmm. for manipulation. This was from an artist I was a huge, just major fan of. Look at her cool sleeve. Ooh, she she went into the sleeve. Pokemon Hello. sleeves. She did. She went to the hollow. This was the back of her sleeves. The Pokemon kind of like collector card mag magic quest. Pokemon. Paint right over those Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'll tell you that right now. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about you, Jessa. This was one I really was excited to get. That's a really cool one. Right. It was very themed. And, and it says, you know, it's the Dapple Irish. And it says by Susan Brack. Oh. She's a famous illustrator. So I would track down who was a big artist. This is my mother. Here's another horse, bunch more of my mother. You know, and more digital. And I had this little collection of these. I sold a bunch. Yes. And we had this going on. Right now, Alan is running a, um, a community based swap. Yes, he's he's running the he's doing us a big favor. He's running the, the, the community based ATC swap while we're getting our stuff together on the website so we can get the official Sherpa 
swap going. So he has his a, rules and his things, and there's links, and you can join big that. Big thank you, you know? to Alan for all of the help on. And gosh, we could. I mean, like he's just single handedly done you, this. So thank you so much for keeping That's pretty groovy stuff he's got. Well, going I, I should on. say single handedly. He has a lot of other help, but mm-hmm. he he bore the brunt of actually receiving the mail, processing the mail, and reshipping the mail out to all the the sure pets in this last. There's one. some famous. There's famous swaps. There's the it's the I think it's the Grumbacher Strathmore. There's yeah. some famous swaps. These little papers, again, I have links to these. Mm-hmm. They come pre-cut. See these? Come on here. And they're just what this is, is canvas paper. But they come in watercolor paper, Yupo paper. You can pretty much get artist trading cards pre-cut in every media you can think of. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do acrylic today. I'm going to show you how to do, and John has a picture-in-picture picture for you. Oh, my gosh. You're going to put me on Because there. here's the thing. Look. Artist trading cards, those are exchanged between artists. Not, it's not, it may cost you money in postage or membership or something like that, but the artwork is not, the value of the artwork is not assessed. No. You just trade with other artists. A lot of times it's a blind trade. You don't know what you're getting. Yeah. You, you get somebody famous. Yeah. You could get, I'm going to throw this Sherpa one I, I do in today over to Alan. Oh, cool. So you could get this one today in the next swap. So you don't know who you're going to get. That is the best thing. ACEOs, you generally find those on eBay. Yes. Artist Collector Editions, because they can be reproductions. Mm-hmm. Those of you that are fans with Jasmine Beckwith, that is where she cut her teeth. Oh, yeah. And you can sometimes still find prints. Uh, not very often originals. <laughs> um, and originals. In other words, they're hand-painted. They're one-ups. Yeah. So that's the difference. That's all you need to know about that. It really is that simple. I think you can go paint just so right over poker cards. Oh, yeah. Right? Right over. You, they just have to be two and a half by three and a half. And you're going to stick them in a little sleeve and a little envelope. There's frames for these things. There's everything. It's it's so busy. And I'm going to show you the tricks of how you get this done. My awesome googly glasses being <laughs> what it is. So over to my palette. Okay. We've done fire before, right? As a community, you put there's our our, our a heart on fire. Times. I thought that was appropriate for Valentine's Day. This month's theme, Alan picked a theme of romance. He, it's right. He so did. I kind of went. Um, you, I went a little bit like you went. You went romance rogue there. I went a little black there, didn't I? A little ring of fire. Is it's it's <laughs> a little Johnny Cash? I did go a little Johnny Cash. I did because every once in a while you need to go a little Johnny Cash. You know, and I'm going to show you some stuff. Everything is very similar. The media, get the, the, I put out way too much paint, just so you know. <laughs> the brushes get a lot smaller. I have a little thing in my brushes I'm going to be using. Look at these tiny little brushes. These little detail brushes, little brights, little angles, little round details. They're all in these twos and zeros and half sizes. This one's a two. They're small. These fans, they're a lie. We're not even going to do any fans. <laughs> Sometimes I have other brushes stored in my cup. Right? Take all so those small out brushes are going to be your big thing. Your biggest brush that I generally will use on this, right, is just when I'm painting in the background. And I, what I did was, so you could see it, Oops. is I, ta- I, pre- I pre-gessoed in black my little card. And I'm using artist tape to tape it up on this giant canvas to give you a good viewing experience the of the painting. giant canvas. Yeah. But only because so you can see it. And this is just black gesso. You could just paint it with black paint. I'm going to sketch my little heart in, and then I'm going to paint it in, because that's what you do on this heart on fire, right, which is just perfect. So one of the things is that I always have to do, and I have uh, my whole life, is use vision enhancers. Vi- I have one of those over here. It's called Robot Cam. Robot, Robot Cam. Cam. See, Robot coming. Cam is a vision enhancer. It zooms in. I like my vision enhancers. I'm going to embellish these. All right, so I'm just kind of just giving myself a light sketch to know that's in there. I'm going to smudge out my chalk a little bit because I want it to, to sort of disappear into the thing. And I'm going to get my first brushes. What do we remember about fire from all of our paintings of fire? Fire, 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 fire. What do you remember about fire? Do you remember? Your first time here, if you don't know, don't worry. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to do this. <laughs> right? <laughs> So Fire is, is brightest and whitest where the most energy and the most expense it is, and it gets red and cooler as it moves away from its energy source. Oh. So this artist thought about this a bit, this photographer, when they um, when they made this art. So we're going to start with our central energy source. And you know what I'm going to put out? Because I will be blending. I will be 
be blending. I'm going to put out some acrylic glazing liquid gloss. There will be blending. There will be blending. I do a lot of blending. Um, those To blend? So on the ACEOs, the ones for sale, I was still the same hours of work into them as a bigger canvas. Yeah. So it's very hard to get them up to enough money where it was the juice was worth the squeeze, as they say. <laughs> yeah. It was really tough to get some juice out of that squeeze. You know, and and I, and they were selling for like you know seventy five hundred bucks, but that uh, my hours were really in there. So it's just something to think about, though. Some people get right up into the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds range with those. So I've got this number two bright, the silver crystal bright, uh -huh. and I'm gonna get my yellow out. I'm gonna make sure I have my glazing medium because I don't I don't intend to play. All right. <laughs> sure oh, oh oh gosh, I've it's okay. Been. There we go. I just, just as reference. And I'm going to come and start putting in that heat. Now, for me, when I'm painting fire, I've got to make sure that I'm keeping track of where the warmth is. I may have to do this from, this is going to be an interesting transition. Mm -hmm. I'm going to simply remember that the heat of the heart is up here. And I've got flames traveling away. But I keep the heat of the heart top. This is going to be hard. Really should have more in front of me. You're, I don't know how to do that. I can't do that. I can, I can, no, okay. I can't put it in front of you. Maybe. I'm thinking of this right now, so it's not an opportune time. <laughs> so you can see that I'm just, I'm doing everything. I was doing curling these little brush strokes around. I'm being very lyrical. But I'm doing it with a teeny tiny little brush. Why? Mm. Why? Because if I used oh. a big brush, it wouldn't make any sense. I'd just grab some white there because I'm going to... Oh, it looks like there's a, it's a little jittery out there on YouTube right now. Is it? Yeah. What does that some, mean? That means that the internets are not having us today. They're saying, bad feed. I'm going to go over and see what I can look at it. It says bad. It says the primary stream is not working very well. Oh. I don't even know how to fix that right now. Okay. Boy, this has it's, been kind of, it's kind of been an up-down day. I think that, you know, there's... Yeah, it's, it's really glitchy. It's a, it's glitchy. Should we pull the whole thing? No, no, no. We're still going. It's still live. We're still out there. It's just, it's clearly going up and down. So, we may just take a little extra time here with everybody, and then uh, this may be something that we re-record and put up later or something. No. I don't know. <laughs> this will be gone. This will be gone. This. Is, so if you're here, you get it. If you're here, you get it. There's no re-record. Yeah. If this gets too glitchy, we won't leave it up, but we will let you see it. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm just pulling these little flames up. We got over 300 people here, so I mean, it's like well, you're putting up with all, a lot. They're they're like Get they your... want to see it. All right, so tell us more what you're doing here. Well, I am adding back. my cad red light. Yep. So I have my cad yellow medium, my cad red light, my Eliz my naphtha red, and my titanium white and a little glazing medium. Mm -hmm. Basically, warm red, cool red, white, and yellow. Okay. And that's really all I ever really get into when I'm doing fire. 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 And I'm using the small bright because I can get these beautiful lyrical bits. I like them. Which I need. Yeah, you I'm not using I my reference them. nearly enough. I need them. And I am just trying to show these beautiful bits of flames that are coming up from this heart on fire. While the dog is chewing the on my puffety, cable. Puffity puffities of, of fire coming off the top. So do we have a stream or no stream? Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. Okay. If it goes back down, I'll let you know. It was just glitchy there for a minute, and I think it's okay. I think we're going to be right. okay. Everyone's saying, no, no, it's good. Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. So More. we're just pulling some flames up from this, right? And because I'm painting over black, even though I'm painting with golden propane here, chances are I will likely still need to go over a second coat for the bright yellows. Yeah. And I'm adding... Some fire. This is sort of a yellow fire, and it's gonna come down here. This heart's on fire. I love doing these strokes where they're like really based on an arabesque or snake maneuver. Mm. I'll show you over here. Oh, hold on. Let me show okay. you how the stroke is done. Get some paint here. So when I'm doing a fire stroke, a lot of times I'm wandering up, and I'm lightening the pressure as I'm traveling out from the flame. See how these are just really kind of involved S's? And you can practice this. 
Look at this. This one will have like a little W in it. Squiggle up. See? Like a calligraphy. And that's really the basis of this thinking. That's all it takes. We can all make it more complicated than that, but that's really all it is. We're going to just put our heart on fire. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. It could be. I like the fire. I like doing this, so it's okay. The fire heart's really neat. I like the heart on fire. And this is what it is. These little tiny painting, and I'm telling you, without these guys, without my goggles, it could not be painted. And that's no matter where I was on my journey. <laughs> I just don't see well enough. And I don't think I've ever seen well enough to do the miniature painting. I'm going to get a little bit of my dark red into my cad red. You could use any cool red, any warm red you have. That would be okay. And as I'm pulling down here, I'm going to pull some of these flames into this heart. Giving this cool red some space and seeing how, look, it pulls a little little bit of that out. Little dots out here, embers. It has embers, in case you didn't know. Mm. It has some embers. And we're going to just keep putting our heart on fire. And again, I would definitely prefer to be able to really be in on a reference, just drilling down on it. <laughs> At this point, we're just... So, now where, now where can you get those goggles, and what are they called? Okay, so these are jeweler's visors. These are for jewelers. Mm -hmm. um, I have a link, an Amazon affiliate link, down below. And you can just even just use it to figure out what they're called. They should not... They have them, they get wildly expensive. You shouldn't really need to, to go over $30 for these. Yeah. And then they have some Wouldn't. multiple strengths. Do they eyes. have them at Harbor Freight? You know, I think they do. I think, I I think they might have these at Harbor Freight, too. Yeah. there's. You, if you, you have a husband that likes it, you could give him a, a, a job. Or you, if you have a wife that likes it. I don't want to be gender specific. <laughs> yeah, whatever, no. whatever your partner's your local Harbor hard, Freight. Yeah, your local hardware store, your local craft stores, good chance they're going to have something like this. Their uh, their jeweler's loops or you know sometimes magnifying uh, headsets, magnifying goggles, so you can find those all over the place. But again, there's a description. There's a link in the description down below. Yes, down below. We've got some of the natural. And we're just gonna do some of these like these little flames that are pulling off this heart. This heart has this little energy, and they're gonna get a little cooler, mm -hmm. right? They're going to be into the cooler red as they're away from the heat of the heart. This heart that's on fire. I think this is very much how my heart is. Just observationally. In my life, I tend to feel things pretty darn deeply. To the good and the bad. <laughs> For those of you that also have fire hearts. And you can see this is really just, I've, I'm using one brush here. K Kathy and says that you can find those at needlework stores. Needlework stores. See, this is the whole thing. The needleworkers also yeah. have those really cool um, lamp built in. I'm getting some pure CAD, and I'm going to... Mar Marty was asking, do they hurt your head? No, they're, they are adjustable. Don't. They're very adjustable. Super don't hurt my head. I, th I would say, for in my life, the hardest thing about these is that my children find them fascinating, and therefore they're constantly disappearing. Mm-hmm. Always. <laughs> and then I'm like, Spider, do you have my glasses? No. The robot eyes. They're robot eyes. <laughs> I would say if you have kids, that's the big problem. Maybe cats would get in them. I don't know. For <laughs> sure my kids get them. Yeah. I am adding this heat to the mix here because I just really need it to be a bright, bright yellow. And maybe there's a little bit of this flame. Now, wh which size brush are you using? Is it, is this it, is, is a zero? number two bright number in a miniature brush. So this line of brushes is a small, short handle brush set. Nice little bright any, two. Yeah, any, any you know one that you have that you like would absolutely do the trick. I'm just trying to... Get the flame going on here. It needs to be very flamey. Flames are like that. 
tough to do without the reference, but I'm doing it. So this is really what it's about with fire. It does its own thing. If you did the fireman with me, if you've done the candle, you're kind of familiar with this. If you've been kidnapped into my paint some lava quest. <laughs> and it's not that hard. It's not that bad. I'm going to keep going. So you can say, I, when I said I put out way too much paint, now you realize the thing about ACOs is you can paint a lot of them on very little product or media. Mm. That there's a lot of art experience for your canvas. And so for that's sure. one of the reasons I'm sort of really happy to show this with you guys is to be like, you know, hey, there's a lot of painting that you get to do. A lot of fun you get to do. For sure, for sure. I'm going to be right in here. I'm just trying to make sure we got a little flame coming off here. See, a little fire energy. Right there. In the world. I'm having a little bit too much fun is my, often my problem. <laughs> often my problem. So I don't know why I'm doing brick today. I'm doing a brick impression. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to share this with you because I just think there's a lot of fun on art opportunities in this space. Mm -hmm. And again... This is one of, in my opinion, the best ways to collect art. Not just from your friends, but just in general. Amazing art. Just like incredible art that would like blow your minds. Mm -hmm. Can come from this. Not looking kind that of That looks nice. really cool. So here. Just having some fun. Like you do. Oh my gosh! I should, I should, I should say all of the like, comment, subscribe, and share things. You know, you guys. <laughs> thank you for coming and hanging out with. Thank you for coming and being with us. Don't forget to to share your images. Don't forget to to post up your pictures. Share what you're doing with us. Yes. You know, follow up it, with Alan if come, you're interested in doing this. Yeah, come out to the to the, to the website uh, www.theartsherpa.com. I have a little graphic. Look at this one. There's a graphic, and then there's there. a little post, and you can get more information. You come about up there, it. hang out with us. And again, thank you for to, to Alan, who's running this, uh, you know, the community, the community swap that's going on right now. Um, you know, really soon we're going to have it together on the on the website where we'll be doing our official Sherpa swap there. Uh, it's just, you know, thank you for bearing with us while we get this together, guys. We're, yeah, we're working on it. This is just. But Alan's doing such a great job. Thank you so much again. Just that's perfect, a, perfect. I'm going to find a place to sign it, Mr. Cooney. I know. And you're, now you're going to send this to Alan for his. I am. Uh, this is going to be in, in his current February swap. Nice. So some person, some brave person that was like, I'm participating, mm -hmm. is going to be in it. And they'll get one of these. Well, they'll get this one. They saw here. That's so cool. I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what we, what, which ones we might get back. I am very curious. Well, you only get what you send out. Well, sure. So we'll get one back. We'll get one I don't back. know what. But look. You did it. It's a little tight. And doesn't it look really good from far away? It does. It's like. <laughs> Under the glasses, it's like. <laughs> oh, wait. This is really. Oh, I love. This is really a whole trip here, guys. Oh, my gosh. Bananas. So, guys, we've been over 300 this entire time. So, we've been Sherpa this entire event. And I just want to say thank you because. You know, every day we get to get up and do this stuff with you guys. And we're just, you know, we're the luckiest people in the world to have a community like you that we get to come and hang out with every day. So I'm going to say thank you. I know, you know, we, we totally appreciate. I'm going to stop the bubbles right though. We don't. I'm we protecting don't it from the bubbles. It. Should I untape it so we can see what it looks like? I think you, I think. Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, you were, you were, I didn't know you were doing the music. I'm not doing I, I, I pushed the wrong button. Oh. I just, sorry. So I here was, we go. Here we go. It. Here it is. Oh, oh. That's the size of the painting. Yeah. Real Sherpa that you can have. Heart on fire. Have fun with that. You're welcome to do that. Everyone, if you want to paint that yourself, you're welcome to paint that yourself. You can take any tutorial that I've ever done and put it on that and be part of the artist trading swap. You can do a Zen doodle. You can, you can do pen and paper. You can do charcoal. You can do mixed media. You can do collage. Yeah. Uh, I know some people who like stitching stuff into it. I've seen some cool felt ones, mm -hmm. some cool uh, textile ones. It's really, there's some guidelines that Alan has, but really it's just unlimited. It's just one of those kind of cool jams. Yeah. 
Any questions before we go about artist trainings? Uh, this is really actually very pretty. Now, does now does damage does it putting them into those sleeves damage them? So these have been in these sleeves for years. Years. And I'd say ten years. They haven't been damaged. I have the really good heavy sleeves. Yeah, more than more than that, that. you would put really like if your look. Here's my thing. If your kid has Pokemon cards, don't just gesso over those. Check the value of those online before you just gesso over. Same with Magic the Gathering, but Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> you can just get rid of. No. Any, <laughs> that's not real advice. Don't do that. <laughs> Always check the value of cards. But generally, the, the, the collector cards have these heavier, nice sleeves. I gave you the Strathmore link yeah. and the envelopes and all of that. These are, you can, there's some cool hacks to make this easy. You can cut, you can cut it yourself. It doesn't have to be machine cut. Mm -hmm. It's just two and a half by three and a half. So it hasn't ever hurt mine. There's some really cool Carnuba kind of wax that you can do on top if you want to as an extra finish yep. on acrylic paintings. And we may talk about that in the future. I want to know what you think. What do, what do they think about the artist trading cards? They think this is great. They can't wait. So, so and there's a lot of people asking if they can laminate them. You know, mm -mm. don't laminate them. Do not, unless it, I mean, you'd really have to justify why that was part of your uh, art process to laminate it. And it would need to be an intrinsic part of the process, the art. Right. Like, you know, but. Yeah. I think it would be tough to do a gel skin, but don't be limited. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a guys. Wikipedia link down there yeah. about the history of this mm -hmm. and its intention, its purpose before it was commercialized <laughs> and used by people like me to make a little extra cash. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Selling these weird little little paintings. Used to sell the little tiny cards. I talked my mom into it. Yeah. But you don't sell them anymore. No. no. I don't do that on eBay anymore. They're still going on. Yeah, still you can go on eBay, it. search ACEO, and see amazing artwork for collection anywhere from a dollar to a few hundred dollars. Yeah. That's yeah. that you can collect. But I like the trading because there's a there's a magic element to it. I know January's trade has just finished. Mm-hmm. Well, there, there's, oh, there's all, we're going to leave them for that because time travelers, they all have new information and we're going to, uh -oh. We're, oh, we have kids. So we refer to the, to refer to the fact and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll depart here because we know we have some things happening. So. Okay. We, we love, love you guys. We'll talk to you guys really we're going to go bye -bye. take care of our kids. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. Bye-bye. Let me go find my buttons. Oh.